That would be discovered a new planet, a planet with the density of styrofoam. Planet styrofoam. That's next, but first time for Countdown's number two story. Live from Planet Styrofoam, it's tonight's worst person in the world. LeBron's Chris Myers of Fox Sports not having a good week. Sunday, he's doing the play-by-play -play when the Detroit Lions shove aside the Chicago Bears offensive line and sack quarterback Jay Cutler, and Dent says, I broke through like they were at the airport security in Amsterdam. What? What? Too soon? I know you will. Then last night, Iowa wins the Orange Bowl, and Myers is the interviewer who asks uh, Iowa's Ricky Stanzi, quote, I know you're from middle America. You feel like sometimes you're representing more than just a school or a conference, maybe an entire group of American citizens out there? Crying out loud, Myers, they beat Georgia Tech, not the Taliban. The runner-up, Rex W. Tillerson, chairman and CEO of ExxonMobil. Over the last seven years, his company has contributed at least $100,000 to a little outfit called NCPPR, the National Center for Public Policy Research. And NCPPR recently put out a press release about this revolting development. As terrorists continue to infiltrate America, the Obama administration is tasking some of our nation's most elite intelligence gathering agencies to divert their resources to environmental scientists researching global warming. Well, the lunatic fringe, always happy to rely on press releases rather than doing any reporting or thinking, exploded. Foxnews.com screamed, CIA resources diverted to climate change. Hannity quoted Senator Barrasso of Wyoming saying the CIA shouldn't be spying on sea lions. A blogger wrote, they're going from spying on terrorists to spying on polar bears. Another blogger named Hoft said the CIA will be spying on icebergs instead of terrorists. I know, they have one idea, they steal it from each other, they change one word in it, and then they think they had 97 ideas. Besides which, I'd like to remind the GOP that an iceberg sank the Titanic, and it was never proved that Al-Qaeda wasn't involved. More importantly, the whole thing is crap. The CIA is giving scientists access to stuff it already has. Spy satellite photos, sensor equipment around the globe, stuff that's up and running whether they let the scientists look into it or not. No resources diverted, none. But for some reason, an ExxonMobil-funded phony think tank put out a press release claiming the CIA was now studying climate change instead of spies. Golly, I wonder why they did that. But our winner, Billow the Clown, and this is Clown College Time. I mentioned this last night, but it deserves the full read. Simply put, Al-Qaeda thugs have no rights, none. They should be killed on the spot, and they are being killed by the drones. So if they're captured, they should undergo harsh interrogation and be placed in military prisons. Okay, were you planning to still put them in the military prisons after you killed them on the spot, or do you need to rephrase your plan? Seriously, Bill, we need to walk you through the idea of why we have trials. Ultimately, why we ask questions first and shoot later. It's not about rights. It's not about who's a thug. It's not about how much sadistic joy and the sickos like you get from the thought of harsh interrogation. It's so we get the right guy. Mankind figured this out thousands of years ago and we re replaced that old method of kill them, then ask them if they're guilty because the dead men proved to be mediocre at answering questions. And then it also turned out that often we were killing the wrong guys, which is inconvenient, especially for them. Because under your system, all that has to happen is that somebody says, hey, that Bill O'Reilly, he's an Al-Qaeda thug. And then under your system, the government would write, have the right to kill you on the spot. Now, Bill, if this still isn't clear, I'll draw you a picture in crayon. I'll messenger it over. Bill O the thug, today's worst person in the world.